Okay guys, so it is spring and we're getting back into the swing of things. So it's time to address the house situation. If you have been following along, we are still trying to build a log cabin, a D-log styled cabin, 16 by 32 for us to live in. As I said in a previous video last year, we did have to put building on hold. Life happens and it wasn't able to get done. This is the start of video logging the progress of getting the walls put up on our house. I would like to do this in chunks as I put out the video of us getting our floor done. So I would like to focus on getting the walls up and then focus on getting the roof up and then the fun part of the inside. Good luck to us. <laughs> I shouldn't even be saying us. This is really like 99% Keenan and I help with what I can if that's cooking him food or bringing him a water or holding something for him or just doing anything that I can I am there so uh stick along here we go so as remembered from last year this is what the floor continues to look like we tarped it down for the winter because we didn't want to hurt any of the Vantech You. Um, are you still sticking with the six foot walls? Or eight, what were you? Um, still, still want to do eight foot walls, which is my 116 or 200 to eight foot logs. So if I get 200 eight foot logs, I could do my eight or eight foot walls or 100 at 16, but I'll have some 16s and I'll have mostly eight by. All these are all about different age and how dry the back is. This is about as hot as they get right here. They rot too much more than this. They uh, fall right off, like these ones. And we'll pressure wash these so they're nicer. And it's going to be sprayed with the medium gold. How fresh these are. I can well, I'm just going to peel them all. Now as soon as I got them cut. Nice and fresh and they look better. These freshies are going to be seen on the side of the house. So that's where we're at right now. 
at this point. This is the most boring part, I think, of building this house is just trying to get all the material ready to put it all together. So once Keenan finishes all of the wood he needs for the walls in the roof, then things will start happening, hopefully. Our game plan is still for the end of July, early August to get all of that stuff up. It's a process, but hopefully it's worth it by the end of it. I know it'll be worth it by the end of it, but house building isn't fun. goes over there. Yeah. Okay. This is just gonna be right here for now, and I'll point to wherever I want you to put you. Just gonna point. My point.
I almost dropped my camera. So back with another update. It is July 4th. What, why am I looking? It's the 4th of July. Happy 4th of July, everyone. I hope you had a great 4th safety, fireworks, drinking. We know how it is. We kind of get a big update. So this past winter up here in the North Main Woods entity, a new company came in. So they bought out Pelletiers, for those of you who are familiar with the area up here in Pelletiers logging. Um, they are no longer. All the guys that worked for Pelletiers are still with this new company, um, but this company is called a and Brochu. And I met one of the higher ups of the company and I spoke with him, a, I think it was about a month ago or so, about how it's absolutely absurd that basically all of the wood that you're buying in Maine at like Ware Butler, um, Ham and Lumber, stuff like that is coming from my backyard. I mean, hauling right by our driveway, like our road. And I think it's absurd that I could not get someone to come here and just drop off a load of logs for us. I've been trying with Pelletiers for multiple years. So he agreed and thought that it was a little absurd and said he'd look into it and see what he could do. So when he told me that, I really didn't think much of it because I've heard it before. But basically a couple weeks later, he private messaged me and said that he was able to work something out. And then a week later from that, we officially, like 100% agreed that we wanted a load of logs. So hopefully they're gonna start cutting in the next week or so, and hopefully we'll get a load of logs in by the end of July, early August. So it's, it's happening. It's been two years that I've been trying to get a company to do this and it's, it's happening. Super thankful, super grateful. But that's gonna get the ball rolling. It's gonna make this house kind of come together a little bit faster, but we do have a lot of other variables that are factoring in during this build. So the end of July, early August, when this load is gonna be dropped off is also the start of bear baiting. And that takes a lot of Keenan's time. We have full clientele for this bear hunting season, so we are going to be really on our game with baiting and checking cameras and, you know, putting we're going to be putting out a couple new bait sites and really honing in on bear so that our clients are successful. His clients are successful, I should say. That's going to be a huge factor in time. So once all of the logs get milled out for the walls, and we know we have all the D logs we need for the walls, um, we're just going to start throwing them up, you know? So that's really when the ball's going to get rolling. And I'm excited to get to that point to see it happen. It's been a long time coming. We have agreed to a certain amount of logs that's going to be delivered here. But in the meantime, Keenan is still cutting. He's still dragging and he's still milling. So we, you know, we want to have a lot of wood. And that's the goal here. So stay tuned as this video continues on.
All right, guys. Well, I got a new camera. Love the new quality of the new camera. And I was up here talking, and it died. And I haven't gotten a new charger or batteries for it yet. So it has to plug into the wall. So we're back to Old Faithful here. As I was saying, that you won't see before this, what you just saw was us finally getting our wood. If you watch the timeline as to when we said we would get our wood, you'll see that it was a couple weeks delayed, which was no biggie whatsoever. Um, we've been milling about anyway, so work is still happening. I am truly exhausted right now. I'm very tired. I got a message yesterday from the guy that was helping us get this wood, and he asked if we would drive down to the milling headquarters, wherever they store the wood, um, so that Keenan could look at it and make sure it's what he needed. So that made me extremely concerned that we were gonna go down there and it wasn't gonna be what we needed, and then it was gonna be a complete wash and our timeline would look extremely different. Obviously, we went down, we checked the wood out, which you guys saw already, and it was great. It was everything we needed. So we said, yep, we went to the bank, we paid them, and they hauled it right up from there and dropped it right off here for us. So uh, we have wood. A big old pile of it. This video is already an extended amount of time and I don't want to push it any further than it is. So the intent of this video was for you to see us get our walls up, but now the intent of this video is to see us milling and getting our logs for our walls ready. I could keep going with filming us getting our logs ready and then putting the walls up and it would just be the longest drawn out video. You guys have seen us mill, you've seen Keenan mill wood. It's the same process over and over and over and over again and we need 200 of those. So I really don't want to bore you guys in us just running a wood miser and angling the camera in all different directions. I'm going to end this video here and the next video for the house is going to be us getting the walls up. In between then is going to be a lot of bear hunting. This is our next step. We have the wood. We have everything right here we need to finish the walls and the roof. So the only other supplies we need to get is um, stuff to insulate the roof with and uh, metal roofing and windows. <laughs> Windows are also a thought, but that will be very much um, touched on in the next video. For now, it's just this glorious pile of wood that I am so excited. Me and Keenan are watching him unload this wood, and I looked at Keenan and I'm like, I want to cry right now. Like, this is such a big step for us. In the beginning, we 100% wanted to be able to drop the tree, drag the tree, mill the tree and it just got way too much for one human being to do. And this right here is about two months worth of work for Keenan dropped right next to our mill. I was like sold, sign me up. We're super excited that this is going to definitely move us along faster in this journey. Our 1000% like need want goal is to have the roof on this before snow flies. We can't have this sitting out here for another winter. Walls, roof, tin, and then hopefully throughout the winter we can work on the inside of the cabin, which will be more filming and more videos coming to you of the process of making this our home. Like right now I'm sitting in our living room. This is like the corner of our living room. And there'll be a big window right here and our door will be right there and the kitchen will be in the background. So. I hope you guys enjoy this series of videos. I am loving filming it. I'm loving documenting it. This is such a huge goal for us. So we appreciate everyone's kind words and following along and the likes and the subscribes and all of it. It means so much to us and we appreciate it so, so, so much. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.